praise the Lord. John chapter 3, verse 3. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verse 3. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye be born again, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. These are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the summary of this scripture is that the criteria for entering heaven is not the number of years you spend going to church. The criteria for making heaven is not the name of the denomination of the church you attend. The criteria for making heaven is not the position you hold in church. The criteria for making heaven is not your ancestral Christian lineage, that your father, your forefathers were Christians, that you are born into a Christian family is not the criteria for making heaven. The criteria for, not, for making heaven is not the fact that you call yourself a Christian all the days of your life. The criteria for making heaven is not the number of years you have spent attending church services, attending fellowships, attending Bible studies, attending different kinds of prayer meetings. The criteria for me making them is not the number of Christian books you have read. Jesus Christ says, Very day, very day, I say unto you, except ye be born again, ye shall not enter the kingdom of God. And if you look at various other scriptures that talks about being born again, it's obvious that the criteria for making heaven is holiness and righteousness. No other thing. Not the name of your church. Not the fact that you are bearing a Christian name. Not the fact that you are bearing an Hebrew name. Not the fact that you are a church goer. Not the fact that you call yourself a Christian. Or you call yourself a priest, a pastor, a general overseer, a church worker. You must be born again. Every activity in this world has its own qualification. For you to be called a graduate, for instance, you have to go to school and get a certificate. For you to be called a medical doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, there are procedures you must go through for you to get a visa. For any country, they will look at your they will look at your qualifications, they will look at your documents. And it's the same thing with heaven. For you to enter paradise. And I believe that is the ultimate goal of every Christian. For you to enter paradise, you must be a born again Christian. And the only criteria that everyone is going to look at is your holiness and righteousness. Romans chapter 3, verse 23, all have sinned have come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our God. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that Christ raised him from the dead, ye shall be saved. And Romans chapter 10, verse 13, whosoever shall come upon the name of God shall be saved. You can't be a Christian and be a smoker. You are not a born-again Christian. You can't be a Christian and be an idolater. You are not a born-again Christian. You can't be a Christian and be a fornicator. You are not a born-again Christian. You are, can't be a Christian and be an adulterer. You can't be a Christian and still be connecting bribes before you offer service, service to people. You can't be a Christian and still be practicing Occultism. You can't be a Christian and still be attending the adulterous festivals in your village, in your family. You can see you can't be a Christian and still be partaking in New Year festivals. You must cut off from every ungodly activities. As a Christian, you must cut off from everything that does not lift up your Christian growth and development. You must be born again. You must die to flesh. You must crucify your flesh. You must cut off every ungodly, ungodly relationship. You can't be a Christian and still be going to, into, into social clubs, into night parties. You cannot be a Christian and be participating in evil gatherings. Anywhere Jesus Christ is not going to be, you are not expected to be there. 
Any movie Jesus Christ is not going to watch, any movie Holy Spirit is not going to watch, you should not watch it. Anything Holy Spirit will not say, you should not say it. Any music Holy Spirit will not be glorified, you should not hear it. That is being a born again Christian. As you surrender your life to Christ today, as you say yes to Jesus Christ, heaven shall rejoice over your salvation. And you shall not, my prayer for you is that you shall not serve God in error all the days of your life. And you shall be a born again indeed and a truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World Christian Ministry. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nobi. You can continue this discussion on social media. The phone number to call is plus 234-8035-897435. Be born again, repent of your sins, confess your sins, and be born again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.